Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to give you guys a quick recap of the Chump Festa stream that just happened about... Actually, you know what? It's still going on, but the Dokkan portion is officially over. And for those of you that missed it, they did reveal the card arts as well as the animations for the upcoming uh, Janemba and PyCon for the New Year's Dual Dokkan Festival. That's dropping in about a week, week and a half or so. Okay, so... Uh, without further ado, let's just take a look together. We're starting here with the PyCon, and uh, there's the SSR art, as well as the UR art. And of course, he also has a unit super attack or a partner super attack, which we'll look at in a second. And as a lot of people expected, it is a partner super attack with Gogeta. So essentially, if you think about it, it's more of a Gogeta card than a PyCon card, because... Realistically, most people are going to be excited about the fact that, or more excited about the fact that Gogeta's in the animation as opposed to just like PyCon himself. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, there's PyCon and then there's the Janemba. So we have the uh, Fat Janemba first, SSR, and then Token Awaken into a UR Fat Janemba. And then he transforms into a Super Janemba through an active skill. And uh, there he is. So I'm really happy about this, man. First of all, I think PyCon, even though he's a weird choice for a Dokkan Fest unit, is actually great because he's just a very uncommon character, right? Like the last time we got a new PyCon was literally in 2017, so that was more than three years ago. And uh, in terms of the Janemba, we haven't had a new Janemba in over three years as well. It was actually around the same time, like since we last had a new um, PyCon that we had the last Janemba, which was the STR Janemba. I mean, of course, the Int one got a Extreme Z Awakening, but that's not really a new unit. So, yeah, I'm happy that it's Janemba and PyCon, even though some people still feel like PyCon's a weird choice. Gogeta is in the animation, so that definitely makes him a much more, you know, hype unit in my eyes. Okay, so those are the card arts. Um, you know, Janemba has the active teal transformation, and then Gogeta has, or sorry, uh, PyCon has the partner super attack. So with that said, let's take a look at these animations now. And uh, I think they start with the Janemba first, so... Alright, here we go. So, as you can see, we're, we're starting with the active skill first, with the Fat Janemba transforming into Super Janemba. Now, there is sound here or there was sound on the stream but i was an idiot and uh, i forgot to actually unmute my desktop audio so i wasn't able to actually record the sound which actually might end up being a positive thing for me since i think there's a lower chance that this video will get demonetized now but we'll see okay so that was janemba very very clean obviously taken directly from the Fusion Reborn movie, and it looks as good. Actually, maybe even a little bit better than the original movie, since the movie is very old at this point, and these Dokkan animations just keep getting better and better. So yeah, Janemba looks amazing. I can't wait for him. But uh, now let's move on to the animation that I think most people came here to see, which is the one for PyCon, but more importantly, with Gogeta. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, we got the Goku and Vegeta behind PyCon. And there's Gogeta. Looking glorious, as always. And they both launch their attacks. Big explosion. And that's it. Okay, so, you know what? Yo, let's watch that one more time. It went by really quick. Let's watch that one more time. Here we go. So, yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's really awesome that PyCon is getting some love here and he's finally getting his own Dokkan Fest unit. But let's be honest, the only reason anybody is summoning for this PyCon is because Gogeta's in there, and I think that's okay. I mean, think of it as a Gogeta without the fusions category. I mean, he's still gonna have movie heroes, he's still gonna have other world warriors, and um, I think he has another category. I forgot what it was though, to be honest. Uh, either way, his links might be a little bit weird, but that animation is freaking clean, man. I mean, both Janemba and PyCon slash Gogeta, I think, look very, very good card arts, animations. We don't have any information about their details yet, unfortunately, like their leader skills, passives, 
uh, links, all that stuff. None of that was talked about during the stream, but obviously I'm expecting both of them to be very, very good units. Oh, and before I forget, they did show the banners. Okay, so let me pull that up real quick. Uh, here are the banners for PyCon and Gogeta. And as you can see, uh, or sorry, uh, PyCon and Janemba. Man, Gogeta is just like on my brain right now. Okay, so as you can see, they look good. Okay, they look good. The PyCon banner has the uh, LR Blue Gogeta, as well as the three year uh, you know, LR Gogeta, and also the uh, Exchange Boo. And then for the Janemba banner, we have the Vegito Blue, we have the uh, three year LR Vegito, and also the Transforming Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks. So, yeah, first impressions, uh, they're gonna be good banners. I mean, obviously, we don't know what the rest of the featured units look like, and they could be you know, pretty rough. Uh, I'm expecting both banners to have like at least 10 featured SSRs, if not more. But on the bright side, since it's a dual Dokkan Fest, there is going to be 3 plus 1 discounts, right? So your stones will bring you a little bit more value. And especially if you don't have the 3 year LRs or the 5 year LRs, then these banners are going to be even better for you. But uh, that's it, guys. That is everything that was revealed in the uh, Jump Festa stream before they talked about this stuff. They literally gave a tutorial about um, You know how to play Dokkan, right? They like showed some images about the story mode and all that stuff Which I guess still can be useful for you know new players or people that don't play and they're trying to get them interested in the game I guess but wasn't really anything useful for us. Oh, and they also went over the new tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan his banner and also some team building options so once again, stuff that's kind of geared towards like some of the newer players, right? And uh, lastly, I forgot about this. Okay, so they said that the free-to-play Veku is going to be Token Awakening through this campaign into a free-to-play Gogeta. Okay, so we are finally going to get a free-to-play Gogeta in the game. I'm assuming Super Gogeta, so you can use him to farm the super attacks for, you know, the SDR one, the Int one, as well as, um, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, those two. Those two you can farm super attacks for now, so that's going to be pretty dope too. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the recap for Chump Festa. Nothing else was revealed, but this was uh, pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about Gogeta. Or sorry, PyCon and uh, Janemba now after seeing their animations and also their banners. Do you plan to summon? If so, how many stones are you going to spend? Um, obviously, this is for JP first. Global will probably get it within the next, like, five months or so, but we'll have to see. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.